12 minutes before 6 in our consumer alert this morning. Call it wedding bell blues. People trying to sell their old wedding rings are getting ripped off. Yeah, now this is a warning for anyone, though, who really sells any item online. In this case, it's wedding rings, but tomorrow it could be something else. Bob Hansen explains. I'm sick. You, you, you feel violated. You feel like you've been robbed. I, I felt like someone was in my house and just took it out of my jewelry box. And in this case, stole a wedding ring that sat in Jolie Tatro McNeil's drawer for years. But the thief didn't creep into Jolie's home. He ripped her off online. You know, I've been sitting for several years in a box through a divorce. And um, it was worth a nice chunk of money. So I figured, why not sell it? The ring sold quickly through an ad on Craigslist, $5,500. The man who bought it said he'd send her the money right away through PayPal if she would ship it overnight. Probably about an hour later, they'll receive an email, which looks legitimate, from PayPal. Um, unbeknownst to them, it's a counterfeit email. It's not from it's not from PayPal. Sheriff's Detective Randy Avila says the scammers behind it often using a military lie to fool the people into selling their rings. He says, I'm about to get deployed and I want to ask um, my girlfriend to marry me, you know, before I leave overseas. But the scam continues. Detective Avila says the people getting the rings here don't know they're stolen. They've been hired online to sell the rings at pawn shops and send the money to Nigeria. And what about the people here who are getting those rings? Apparently, they're clueless that it's a scam. They are completely dumbfounded and they're surprised. The police have been able to recover some of the rings before they're sold, but most of the rings and the money are gone before the victims even know they've been ripped off. And I said to my husband, and I said something went really bad. Some more advice from the detective. Do your business face-to-face -face if possible, or make sure the money has cleared before sending the item.